Welcome back to the Everyday Workbench. Today we are in the kitchen and I'd like to take you through the proper steps of prepping kitchen cabinets for a DIY kitchen cabinet painting project. The first step is to remove any hardware from your kitchen cabinets. Most of the hardware is gonna be on the doors. You have handles and you have hinges and don't forget these little bumpers on the inside of the cabinet doors. The next step is pretty simple, it's cleaning the cabinets. You wanna make sure all that grease and grime is off the surface of the kitchen cabinets. Now that we have a clean kitchen cabinet, we want to make sure the surface is prepped for the paint that we apply. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can either sand the cabinet or you can degloss. Now the deglossing is a much cleaner method, so that's the method that we chose today. We like the condition that our cabinets are in. There's no gouges that need sanding or any marks to sand out, so deglossing is perfect for our project. Now when you're deglossing, remember this is a solvent, so you wanna make sure you have plenty of ventilation, make sure you have hand protection, so put some gloves on, and we are going to apply the deglosser right to a green scouring pad and going with the grain on the cabinet, we're going to lightly scrub in that deglossing agent onto the cabinet surface. As you apply the deglosser with the scouring pad, you'll see it working almost instantly and you'll see that finish break down. So apply the deglosser with the grain of the wood and then you wipe it up with a wet cloth, removing any of the broken down finish. Make sure you don't let the deglosser dry on the cabinet surface. And when that's complete, you have a nice dull finish, which is perfect for our paint to bond to. Deglossing a kitchen cabinet can be a great alternative to sanding. In most cases, it's a lot less messy, and it still gives you that great dull finish in which that paint bonds to extremely well. As always, thank you for watching The Everyday Workbench.